I'm not really here for a kitten because I just feel like who needs to be two inches off the ground. We're not trying to look like Annalise Kidding, okay? We kind of look like Naomi. Hey girl, hey, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Raven and I'm a fashion stylist and content creator. But on my channel, I do fashion hauls, fashion lookbooks, press on nail reviews, a little bit of travel and DH gate reviews. This video was requested. It is a video on how to walk in heels. So I may not be the best person for this, but I have been walking in heels for the past like over 20 years effortlessly, okay? So I'm gonna tell you what I do, how I walk, and also some tips and tricks to help your feet last longer in your heels, as well as the different types of heels, just in case someone doesn't know. And I'll be sure to leave everything that I discuss in the description box below. So let's just get started. First up, we're gonna talk about the different types of heels. There are a plethora, but these are the main types of heels that you will encounter when you're looking at high heels and stilettos to wear. I'll also, as I'm talking about each one, I'll also recommend which I think are best for starter heels. First, we're gonna be talking about a block heel. Block heels are gonna be any heel that is going to be thicker than basically a stiletto, okay? Block heels are usually in like, a square shape or a D shape in a sense. So they're rounded in the back and then flat on the front. They're gonna be a nice thick heel for more support underneath the heel of your foot. These are a great starter heel because there's more stability when walking in them and it gives you more surface area for your heel to actually rest on and give you more pressure points to rest on for your foot, if that makes sense. Number two is a wedge. A wedge is also another good starter heel. The thickness of a wedge is going to range. You can get some that are a lot thicker. You can get some that are a little bit more slimmer and thin, which I'm obsessed with. I don't like a big clunky heel. That ain't my vibe, okay? But again, these are great starter heels because they will give you more support along pretty much every point of your foot. So it doesn't feel like you're just walking on the balls of your feet. Also, these are great because sometimes the incline isn't as high as they would be in other heels, but you still get the height without necessarily like the steep incline. Some of them, you can also get flat forms. To me, those aren't really heels because your foot is flat. So it's just more of like a platform that is flat. That's why they call them a flat form. And those are going to be just like a flat shoe, but they're going to have a thicker sole to them. That takes us to a platform. So a platform is a shoe that is going to have a wider base at the ball of your feet. Again, this is going to be a great starter heel. They have different heel widths. So some you can find with a block heel. You'll also find some with a stiletto heel, but it's all in your preference of which one you want to try. These come in a range of inclines as well to where there's some that are a little bit more steep than others, depending on how high your platform is and how high your heel height is relative to that. When you're thinking about starter heels, you may wanna try something that doesn't have a huge incline in them. Something that's not gonna have like the ball of your feet here and then the heel super high up. So it's creating more pressure on the ball of your feet. Those you can walk around in a lot longer and a lot easier. So just keep that in mind, especially if you're just starting out to walk in heels. Another type of heel is a stiletto, okay? A stiletto heel, unless it's a platform stiletto, is going to have no extra padding on the bottom. It's literally gonna be like sole to ground. So think of like a Christian Louboutin pump or something like that. That is gonna be a stiletto heel. Now, when it comes to those, I will say that you gotta be a little advanced. Now you can do a little kitten if you wanna do that. That's, that's your business if you wanna do a kitten. I'm not really here for a kitten because I just feel like who needs to be two inches off the ground? But that's your business if you wanna do a little kitten heel. Now, if you wanna do a four, five inch heel, this is not the starter heel for you, okay? It's just not. You're going to be wobbly because a stiletto is a very thin point. So you don't have as much stability on your heel as you do with a block heel, okay? So the stiletto ain't going to be your first time heel, okay? We're going to have to ease into and graduate to a stiletto. Next up, which I think is a great starter shoe, is a boot, any boot that has a heel on it, most times they're going to have great ankle support and they're just going to be a great shoe. Ankle support is key when it comes to wearing heels. 
because they give you extra stability. So if you're just starting out, you need all the stability you can get in your heels because your feet are not going to be used to walking at that angle, no matter what angle it is. You want to create the most stability all the way around for your feet. Things that can help you walk better in your stilettos. One, you can get these pads that go with the ball of your feet to give you a little bit extra cushion so that your foot isn't like basically beating the pavement. And because in a heel, again, a lot of the pressure is going to be at the ball of your foot, you want to make sure you have enough cushion there so that your feet last longer. Aspirin cream is great if you need to be in your heels for a long period of time. I will say after some hours, I would check the bottoms of your feet because I have walked in heels not with aspirin cream, but, you know, to the ends of the earth and I've gotten blisters on my feet. So you want to make sure that the aspirin cream isn't numbing your feet too much to where you're not feeling the blisters form. And because you don't want that because then that's really going to stop you from wearing them heels. OK, for an extended period of time until that blister heals. Trust me, I've been there a few times. Also, they have this company called Shoe Gummy, which goes on the bottom of your shoe it kind of acts like the padding that goes inside of your shoe, but it's on the outside. And it gives you a little bit of a raised um, platform to your otherwise like flat heel. So something that doesn't have a platform and it's gotten rave reviews. I have not tried them because I am not a platform girl. So anything that's going to raise me up off the ground, I don't really want it. No, thank you, ma'am. With that being said, you want to make sure that you're using the things and utilizing the tools that work best for you and how you wear heels. But I've heard rave reviews. I still want to try them just in case to see how they feel. But I've heard great things about them and people love them down. So other things in case your shoes, especially if they're made out of leather, are a little bit too tight or things like that, you can get a shoe stretcher, which is an insert into your shoe that's just going to stretch your shoe out just a little bit. I've also heard of people like wetting their leather, putting in a like bag of ice or like a bag of water and putting in the freezer. The water expands when it turns into ice. So it stretches out your shoe. And I've heard that really works. Now, if it's just a little tight, you want to be careful with how much you stretch it. Um, you can try to shrink it, but I will go to YouTube to figure out the best way to do that. Or you can probably take it to a cobbler and they can fix it for you. A cobbler can also stretch your shoes, just so you know. Next, I'm going to talk about ways to break in your heels. So if you have heels that really hurt your feet, there are ways that you can break them in so they fit a lot better and they feel better when you're wearing them. One, you can wear them around your house. I heard wearing them around your house as you're doing different things helps for your feet to break in the shoes before you actually wear them out for an extended period of time. I normally don't do that, but I have heard that it works very well and know different people who do do that. Two, I'm the person that will just wear the shoes out. If I have to walk a long distance or I have to wear them out for a while, that is how I break my heels in. It's not the best thing to do. You try it at your own risk. You know what I'm saying? Like you might have to get carried back to the car. I'm not that girl. Raven's shoes do not come off in public. So Raven will walk, if not hobble, all the way back to the car. But like I said, try it at your own risk. The reason why this works for me is because that's how I learned how to walk in heels and how to wear heels longer was because when I worked at Express way back in the day when I was in college, I would wear four inch stilettos for my entire shift. So my shift is four hours long. I would wear my stilettos for four hours. Nobody understood. I don't know why I did it. I just had to be that girl, I guess. But that was me and sis had on stilettos for four hours straight every single shift. So my feet got used to walking in heels. The less time you walk in heels or like the more extended period of time of you not walking in heels, your feet will not get used to being in heels. So when I lived in New York, I didn't wear heels a lot and I wore a lot of flats. I'm walking a ton and I'm not trying to be in stilettos. Walking from the train, down the stairs, back up the stairs to wherever I got to go. And it was kind of pointless. The only time that I wore stilettos out the house and wherever was if I was going to a party or if I was going to fashion week or something like that. Um, I rarely carried flats because I just felt like it was just an inconvenience and who feels like changing their shoes in and out and all that other stuff. And for me, once the shoes come off, 
it is very hard for them to come back on. And not that they're tight or anything like that. It's just my feet are like, whoo, thank the Lord Jesus Christ. And then when I put them back in, they're like, man, what are we doing? What is this? Versus if I just keep them in, they just got to stay that way. And then until we take them off at home, we're like, okay, we're good. We're, we're good to go. I think that's it when it comes to the tips and the tricks of how to wear your heels longer. Let's just get into how to walk in heels. I'm going to start barefoot first. So you can see how this works. Now, you don't want to leave with your shoulders. So you want to be like this. Okay, you see how my feet are going like that? If I leave my shoulder, we don't want to leave with our hips and do all of this. Okay, so when it comes to walking in heels, you want to practice this maybe a few times. We want to get on our tippy toes because that's where most of the pressure is going to be. So we want to be on our tippy toes here. Now. Practice this before you put a heel on. Practice this, okay? Because this is where the weight of your heel is going to be, okay? So, to get that model walk, you want to cross your legs just a little bit. So, we're not trying to look like Annalise Keating, okay? We kind of look like Naomi when we're walking in heels, okay? So, you want to cross just a touch, but you're always putting that pressure mainly on the balls of your feet. Again, this is just for practice. So here, 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 here. Boom, okay? We see that, we wanna practice it, okay? You see how I'm still on the balls of my feet. We have not gotten off the balls of our feet, we're still on the balls of our feet. Turn, okay? <laughs> I almost fell. But we're still on the balls of our feet. I can run like this if I need to run, okay? Like, whatever I need to do, I can do the things in the heels because I'm ready. Okay, let's put the heels on. Push I'm out of breath, honey. So I'm going to start with a regular stiletto pump, and these are about four inches high. Because we're in shoes now, we have a little bit of support on the heel. Not much, but a little bit of support is there, okay? You see how this can go very quickly. There's pressure on my heels, but if I keep the pressure on my heel, it's just like this. If that's how I, is that, if that's where I walk from, that's what's happening. There's very little pressure on the balls of my feet. This is how I'm walking. That's not how we want to walk, okay? Again, less Annalise, more Naomi, okay? So we want to put the pressure without releasing the pressure of our heel, because we still need that, but we want to lead with the balls of our feet. These are a little slippery on this carpet, but we want to lead with the balls of our feet, okay? That's how you want to lead. Boom, 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 boom. And there we go, okay? There's very little pressure on the heel of my foot. We're going to trade out into the wedges. Now, I like me a sleek wedge. I don't like me a big clunky wedge, okay? So these are gonna be very similar, but I'm gonna have more support on the heel of my foot. Now, instead of just back here, I've got support till about here. I literally have support to here, but I can feel the support to here. But again, if I walk with this back foot and the heel, that's what we're giving. We're giving very much Annalise, okay? That's not what we wanna give. What do we wanna give? Naomi, okay? So boom, boom, boom. Boom, turn, okay? Let me try to do it from the side. We are walking on the balls of our feet. We do not want to walk on here. Nobody wants to do the heels, okay? It looks crazy. We don't want to do that. Ball of your foot, ball of your foot. You see how my foot goes down first before my heel gets all the pressure on it. So you want to boom, boom. That's how you want to do it. Balls of your feet first, then your heel follows. So very much boom, okay? So these heels are a four and a half inch heel with an inch and a half platform. So they're technically only about like two and a half inch heels, which I'm not a fan of, but these are a platform. It's gonna give you more stability and more of a cushion on the balls of your feet than the last two pairs that I wore, okay? And because your foot isn't as high of an incline, they're a lot easier 
to walk in and a lot easier for you to be in for a lot longer for most people okay i ain't most people but for most people so again we don't want to be just using our whole foot leading with the ankles or leading with the heels we don't want to do any of that okay we don't want none of this okay we're still leading with the balls of our feet even though the incline isn't that much we still want to lead with our toes and the balls of our feet so that's what should go down first okay these heels also have not been broken in they are very slippery okay <laughs> like they should not be this slippery, but I haven't worn these outside. So on this carpet, I may break my behind. Okay. So boom, 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 boom. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We're going to lead with the, our foot. You see how my heel is a little off as well. Like it's a little up because you got to lead with the ball of your feet. Then your heel should go down. This is how we get a smooth stride. Okay. We don't want no Annalise Keating walk. Again, we're gonna cross just a touch. That also helps your hips move a little bit when you're doing that, okay? So it gives you a very feminine, very like, va 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 boom walk, okay? Very model-esque when we're leading with our feet, not our hips, not our shoulders, none of that. We don't wanna, none of this, okay? We don't wanna leave with our shoulders. We're all doing all of this, okay? We wanna stand up straight. Everything should be in a line. And our legs should lead the charge, okay? Legs are leading the charge. And that's how we do that right there. Okay, so that is it. I hope that was helpful. I hope you could see how my feet were moving. But just remember, if you want to be graceful, if you want to be sexy in your heels, lead with the balls of your feet, okay? Let your toes do the leading. Not your hips, not your shoulders, and definitely not your heels, okay? And don't forget to cross your feet and your legs just a touch when you're walking. It just gives you a nice little hourglass shape, honey, as you're strutting down the street. And it also creates just like a more like model-like feminine walk, okay? Again, I'll be sure to leave everything that I discussed in this description box below, along with any of the heels that I use. I think some of them aren't available as I bought them in person at like $10 shoe stores and whatnot. But I'll be sure to leave those in the description box as well. And since you made it this far, sis, you might as well join the club of baddies on a budget, honey, and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you're the first to be notified every time I post a new video. And you might as well follow me on IG and TikTok. So until next time, sis, watch this video that was picked specifically for you.